Welcome to channel 3 times 10 to the 8th power, coming at you at the speed of light. This is Ripley Wave, your source for all the physics news. Our first story tonight will be two girls playing tetherball. Let's take a look at it. The ball's way up there because that's when it has highest potential energy and Sam misses it because she's vertically challenged. The more force you hit the ball with, or I mean the mass, it, the more it accelerates. Oh, look at all them fishes. <laughs> Welcome back, I'm Ripley Wave. That was quite the exhilarating story. Up next we have a new internet sensation called Fast Fish Fun. We have some major hot trajectories going on. Let's go, follow me. <laughs> Apparently this is what the youngsters are doing nowadays. It's called like Fast Fish Fun or something. And the goldfish are flying off that dirty ass, I mean dirty treadmill into her mouth. When it turns into a half trajectory, turns into a snack or something, I don't know. And good luck solving for V on this one, because nobody gets it. That don't even look fun. She's eating dirt. Oh, she dabbed. Look at all them fishies. <laughs> and now for our third story. Balls. Them are some big balls. As you can see in every scenario, it's an elastic collision. And it's an elastic collision because there's two different masses and two different velocities coming at each other and it's, you know, like, you know, bouncing off each other and going in the opposite directions because for every reaction, there's an opposite and equal reaction or something like that. And, uh, oh, well, that looked like it hurt. <laughs> this is Ripley Wave coming back at you with our fourth story of the day. A large crowd showed up to the world's largest race, the D -D Doppler Dash. Tons of contestants from all around the world come to compete, and whoever can put their larynx to the best use and to compress and decompress sound waves will take home the trophy. See if your eyes can keep up with their lovely masses as they go by speedy quick. Here we are with competitor number one. What's your name? I'm Velocity, but you can call me Big V! Why are you talking like that, Big V? I'm talking at the threshold of pain so that I can warm up my vocal cords for the big race! Alright, well, how are you feeling about your competitor today? Well, she got some long strides, but I'm bigger, so I'm gonna win! Alrighty. Well, let's go talk to competitor number two, shall we? Competitor number two, what's your name? stretching and warming up for their big race today with just a little bit of trash talk going on. That's the Doppler effect. Now for a commercial break from our sponsors. This is a commercial for a bin sliding down an incline. All you need for this bin to have a lot of fun is an incline and some gravity loving on you. You can have a good time anywhere, anytime with anyone. And now we have a quick video of some girl doing something nuts with gravity. I think this girl's like messed up in the head or something to throw her body around like that. She's like flipping in circles and stuff about the center of her gravity or something. What? She like, what? What? What the heck? Watch this video for 30 minutes of ad free physics news. In this segment of the news, our friend Hannah, she's a dancer, 
has her she starts with her arms out wide and then brings them in closer to her producing less leverage which produces more torque and in that part she was off her center of gravity during her off balance in this next part the coefficient of friction between the board and the floor is too low so she slipped and this one's really good because she's a really good dancer and she's cute and stuff. Well, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Ruby Wave out.